Well, Jack never knew it, but his saddle would one day be worn by his granddaughter. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Ghost and today I'm back with more Ark. <laughs> These two are almost fully grown. I need saddles for them. So let me do that now. Uh, saddles. There's the no. Two. Pull. Done. Should probably turn this on and also do that. Good. And they're grown. Awesome. I did get them fully imprinted. So that's good. I'll put away the male. Female can go like right here. I'm not breeding them again today. Um... What I will do is I'm not quite ready to go caving again just yet. There's still some things that I may maybe I could do the hard ice cave. Which again I just I keep I keep doing air quotes and so nobody can see me. Behavior enable mating. Behavior enable mating. All right, but so let me let me take a look here. So the underwater cave, I can't really do the hard underwater cave. Two ice caves. Oh, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Uh, from since the last time I recorded, it's been a a, a bit. So, I think I am going to breed today. I'm not breeding the Therizinos. I need any count of my Therizinos. Let's see here. Sloths, too. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I need more sloths. Um, but Therizinos, I have a total of six. So, I don't have... Man, I don't have enough nothing. Let's see here. I only have the two sloths. Ugh. Two female sloths, I guess I should say. Great Gary. I guess I am almost done breeding sloths. But still, it's annoying. That's probably not a good spot, actually. Um. Boom. I don't have a saddle for any of them. Let's see here. My Ethereum saddle. Ah, it's a lot of cementing paste. That's okay. I just made a bunch, so. 
I'm like, I do have stuff to do now that I think about it. So, uh, saddles. Mylania. Megatherium. Three. Okay. I also need a uh, Basilosaurus for the hard underwater cave. And once I'm done breeding Dimorphodons, I'll actually be done. I'll be ready for the um, easy ice cave, as they call it, which, in my opinion, is probably the hardest. Great, Gary. Disable mating. Behavior. Uh, harvest settings. Behavior. Copy settings. See my. Wait, no. Let's see if it. Maybe I can see if I'm mating. Nope, okay. So, Sally's pregnant. And then I forgot to do this behavior, able mating, behavior, copy settings nearby Megatherium. Done. Now they're on mating. Oh boy. That's a pretty good sloth. Black Betty. Thing is, Black Betty and Grey Gary, I won't actually take into battle. So, how many more sloths do I need? I want like 12 for combat. So, that's one. Plus six. So that's a total of eight so far. That's lunch. All right. I think for the hard ice cave, what I'm going to do is go in with the Rexes. Right? But I need them to heal because a lot of them are hurt aka i leveled up their health a lot oh my god look at that so i'm gonna wait for that dimorphodons not ready to mate yet getting there you know the funny thing is of all the dimorphodons i got only one's a male like literally every single dimorphodon that i've bred has been female all right Sloths take a long time to breed. And they're pregnant. So, Grey Gary, 
behavior, disable mating, behavior, copy signature by Megatherium. Boom, Greg Gary. You get put away again. So now I have. Like I said Grey Gary won't be coming into battle, neither will Black Betty. Um, I doubt that their Xenos are ready to breed. Well, there's the male, always ready to go. Yeah, I won't be breeding them today. Stupid jellyfish. Oh, let's see here. Six of ten artifacts. She's gonna give birth in three minutes in 16 minutes for these guys. Also, I wanted to make an obsidian run today. So I need Tommy. Actually, you know what? Tommy and Lisa. I'm gonna make a baby. Harvesting machine. I haven't seen Lisa in so long. She's probably got, yeah, a shitload of levels. Behavior, mating, behavior. Copy things nearby anklos. I've never bred enclosed before. I hope they lay eggs. I don't know if I'm going to get to an obsidian run today. Like, I want to, but I'm going to have a lot of babies to take care of. I'm not even going to be close to being done breeding. There we go. Hello, little one. Cancel. Follow me. Finally had another female. Uh, 
options, change name. Penelope. Hmm, Penelope. Penelope, Star Eater. Hello, little Penelope. Look at her. She's so cute. Dialus heads being too big for their bodies has always just been like the cutest thing ever. Okay. Lisa laid an egg. Turn off mating for them. Boom. That's going. Behavior, see mating. Behavior. Uh, boom. Take a look at Lady and Dummy. I haven't looked at them in a while. No levels. That's okay. The lady is a strong Rex. And Dummy is... Not as strong, but still strong. So cute. How's that coming? 63%. Okay. Put this back in here. All right. Only got 88% imprinted. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm just taking another breeding day so my Rexes can heal and Yeah. I'm getting I'm getting really close to boss fighting. In fact, like I should probably organize this a little bit. Which I will do uh when I'm done caring for Penelope. Penny. Okay, Lisa, you, your service is over. All right, that's ready to hatch. So let me grab some berries. Split stack, half, not 
thousands of berries, but... That's probably good enough. Hatch. Oh, hello there. <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> Look how cute. Uh, you're a cute little guy. All right, come on out. You know what? I'm gonna do actually. I'm just gonna take you out. Boom. Stay over here by Daddy. And Timmy. The protector. And Penelope. Minute 33. Tommy, did you see your little baby? Six seconds. All right, Penelope. Cuddles. There you go, Penelope. God, baby thylas are so cute. And then they grow up and terrorize everything. Okay, so I've been seeing some things, maybe hearing some stuff on YouTube and stuff that Arc 2 is going to be delayed for literally years. I just want to like know what do you guys think? I hope it's not true. But from what I heard like they're remaking Arc 1, right? In, in uh the Unreal Engine and in doing so like, that's going to obviously pull resources away from the development of Arc 2. So, it makes sense, actually. If you think about it, it makes sense that they're going to be delaying Arc 2. They just haven't announced it yet. Which... Eh. You know, like... I really want Arc 2, but I'm... I don't get why they'd remake Arc 1 and the Unreal Engine 5. I don't get it. Like, this game already exists. It's pretty good. It's poorly optimized, but... They aren't gonna fix that by doing the Unreal Engine 5 crap, so... Yeah. I don't know. I'm just kind of freaking out, I guess. Uh, Anklo saddle. Speaking of saddles.
Jack Saddle. Well, Jack never knew it, but his saddle would one day be worn by his granddaughter. Not that he would care because he's an animal. And not that he would care at all because he's not real, but you know what I mean. You do get attached to your ant. Like, I get attached to my animals in Ark. I've said many times I wish there was a, a pet button. Just swing his tail around so like he's dead. Animals that aren't ready to breed at all. You sure are laying a lot of eggs. Oh, my sloths. My sloths are born. Cancel. Cancel. Uh, you're on top of. Cancel. Cancel. I need some meat. I'll stay there. Some meat for you, and some meat for you, and some meat for you, and some meat for you. Alright, male, male, male. Oh my god. It's four males. Just. Oh my god. Walkies. Alright, let's go for walkies then. Little unnamed. Anklo. She's stuck. Oh, there we are. Imprinted. I don't know if I can fully imprint him. You stay there by Timmy. Just four male megatheriums. Jesus. Never, ever, ever gonna be able to breed these guys faster. But it's whatever. Because there's... Alright. So I have four. There's four more to add to the sloth line. 
which let's see here black betty i'm just gonna remove black betty and gray gary so that makes my sloth army seven plus the four eight nine ten eleven so i only need one more it's fine it's fine one more sloth i'm just ready Walkies, huh? Let's go for walkies, Penelope. There we go. She, I very well could get fully imprinted. You see the baby sloths? Look at them. They're little cuties. I am gonna have to wipe all dinos because I'm gonna have to hunt for, like, I need a basilosaurus, honestly. And in order to get one, like, an acceptable one, I'm gonna have to wipe everything. Which I don't really wanna do, but I also don't really have a choice. Like, I don't really want to do it because it's just so peaceful over here. Because everything's... Everything on my beach has been wiped out for the most part. It's only a couple of animals anywhere close to me. And they're all peaceful. But, on the flip side, it's like... I need a basilosaurus. If I have any hope of getting the other artifact from the other underwater cave... <sighs> it's kind of rough. It is what it is. for them. Five minutes for Penelope. Okay. So the sloths will be next. Also want to check the status of the damn morphodons. Mate. Five, uh, 20 minutes. Well, they aren't fertilized, so. Let's, uh. Do some levels for them.
chicken slots. This one will be first. Walkies. Come on, sloths. Looked to me like only two imprinted. Nope, guess I'm wrong. They all imprinted. Okay. Y'all come on back. Let's stay right there. I think I gotta do... Yep. Oh. All right. Now where's? Oh yeah. In it. Now well, they're all trop eating now anyway. So, boom. Boom. Getting closer and closer to my goal of being able to beat the bosses. Cuddles. Yeah, I'll probably get her fully imprinted. It's going to be really close, but... Yeah, I got a little time. Not much. I finished leveling up the Dimorphodons. Ginger. That's one strong monkey, I'll tell you that.
boom. All right. This also made me think about making some healing brews. Let's see here. Tinto berries, narcotic, water. Which is just tinto berries and narcotic. And I just chuck it in there. It's fine. Um. Huggy. Can't see anything. I might as well keep that wood. Tinto berries. Yeah, I've got a ton of stuff. Alright. Actually, dump this because I don't need it. Might as well keep those ninja berries. Tinto berries. Alright. A pteranodon in my taming pen. Like a jerk. Alright. Put that in there. Put those. Here. Oh, I didn't grab the wood. Okay. That's fine. This in here. Turn on. Consumables, narcotics. Tinker berries. I have narcotics, right? But I just wanted to make some extra ones. Oof. Just in time. Walkies. Prime meat jerky. Cuddle. Walkies and cuddle. All right. One imprinted. And they're both imprinted. All right. Megatherium's much easier than everything else. They're 66% imprinted by the time they're 28% grown. Alright, Penelope, you're fine. Now, and walkies. There we go. Imprinted. 
75% imprinted, 77% grown. So yeah, I don't think I can imprint the rest of the way. Sucks, but it is what it is. Let's come over here and get by Timmy. Well, Penelope, 50 seconds. As long as she doesn't want something crazy, I can get her fully imprinted. If she wants something crazy, there's nothing I can be able to do. Please just want cuddles or walkies or cooked meat. Walkies. I can do that. Maybe I can do that. Pen Penelope, come on. Oh my god, I did it. Oof, 99.8. Neutral. Good job, Penny. Jack's granddaughter. Whoops. Pretty hurt, actually. It takes a long time to heal after, you know, being born, I guess. All right. some time. So, come here, turn this on, grab that, and that. Uh, put this narcotic in here, consumables, crafted foods, turn on. Oh yeah, okay, just saw that does it. All right. I don't know what that's gonna make, but I need a bunch. go for a bit. Takes two narcotics per one of those, right? So I put enough in there to make a lot. Now I just need to finish imprinting the sloths. Two and a half minutes. And like I said, I don't, he's 91%. I don't think I'll be able to finish imprinting. But it's okay. It's okay. At the end of the day, we'll be fine.
All right. That's the hunter, right? Yep, hunter. This one is massive. Yep, it's another one I need. this one, right? Yep. Alright. So these three artifacts right here are for the brood mother. Technically, I could go fight the Breed Mother right now, but it's the reason I'm making sloths. So, it'll be a bit yet. Alright, what do we need? Tinto Berry? Walkies. And. Pace of Kibble is worse. Walkies, cuddle. Walkies. Okay. Let's go for walkies. And they're both imprinted, which means all my sloths are fully imprinted. Boom. Fully grown. Only 75% imprinted, but what are you gonna do? Alright. Devour and pack. This is brute, so that's the monkey. This is the pack, right? Yep. And that should be the devourer. So these three are for the um, brood mother, and if this is the devourer, like I think it is, it is. Then these three, the next three, are for the monkey, which ironically makes it so that the last four I need, all of them are for the dragon. That's okay. Boom. You know what, I'm gonna grab that egg and eat it. Thanks, Lucky. Also, I'm pretty well in water. So yeah, brood mother, monkey, and the dragon pedestals. <laughs> oh, that's kind of actually kind of funny. If you ask me. All right, so I am done breeding for today. I have more breeding duty, obviously. I don't have anywhere near enough. 
there are Xenos. Oh, let me check on this. Boom, done, turn off. 129 medical brews. Throw these in here. Yeah, 16 hours for one spoils. So I got plenty for now. Um, that's that's for boss fights. I'm just kind of boss prepping. Like, um, yeah. Anyway, got all my breeding done. Those these four slots need to grow yet. They're getting bigger. Like there's a time when Penelope was bigger than they were. And now they've outgrown her. But, alright, I think I'm going to leave it here for today. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll be back soon. Looking at jellyfish straight up through my greenhouse is just weird. But, mmm, bye.